Today's drill has been inspired by one of my previous skillist lessons and I wanted to share it with you because it's something that I talk about a lot with a lot of my students online. It is ball striking with the irons and to be fair the drill I'm going to give you can be used for every golf club in the bag but it's a particularly key one for the irons. Now are you familiar with the term early extension? Some people use the terminology early extension for how the hands release the club. How I use it the majority of the time is how the, the lower body reacts during the downswing. Now, first of all, early extension for me would be as the club starts to work its way down, my hips will push towards the golf ball here. So I'm pushing inwards. You'll notice how my, my tray or foot, the heel comes up and moves towards the toes. Now, as a result of that, this is when a lot of golfers try and swing the club on the inside. They get to the top here, try and drop the arms on the inside, and in doing so, by trying to use the shoulders down this way, hips go inward. So you're sacrificing the use of your lower body to try and get the club on the inside. It's not really working. Today's drill, I love it. All you need is a wall. Okay, you don't even need a golf club. So you can, this is the sort of drills now you can start to do at home. It depends on what side of the world you're watching this on, whether you're going into winter and you're not going to be going on the golf course as much. You'll notice I am in a hoodie and trousers because it's the UK and it's my first ever winter here and it's, oh, it's going to be a tough one. But I digress. Going back into this drill, I love it. So you need a wall, you need a backside. Okay, we're going to refer to this as your bottom. As you take your setup, you're gonna, you're gonna use your shoulders and use your hips. And to start with, your bump is gonna be, your bottom is gonna be on the wall. Now, as you start to rotate your shoulders and your hips back, what's gonna happen is your right bum cheek is gonna stay on the wall, okay? Your left is gonna come off because your hips have worked in that direction, all right? So as you start to swing the club, as you, as you would start to swing a golf club up to the top, right hip stays on left hip comes off now on the downswing what early extension is is the right side coming away from the golf uh, coming away from the wall towards the golf ball leaving a gap what we're going to try and do is as we get to the top of the backswing here is keep this right bum cheek on the wall and then start to press the left cheek on the wall so both bum cheeks now are on the wall as the club starts to work down into the golf ball. Okay, that's really key to help you maintain posture. So as you get to the top of the backswing, your left, your right bum cheek is on the wall, your left bum cheek joins it, and then you're gonna rotate from there. Now, one of the key things with this is don't try and keep your backside on the wall through what would be the impact position because your lower body will come off because of the rotation through the ball. But one of the key things for this is just starting to make sure that as you get to the top of the backswing and then as your downswing commences, your, your trail, trail cheek, let's call it for this bit, and then your front cheek <laughs> goes onto the, got onto the wall. Then as you start to rotate from around about this position, then your trail cheek will come off, hit the ball, and then you'll all be off on the way through. What this helps you do, it helps you really use ground pressure better. So as you're, as you're rotating and you're keeping your lower body, you're keeping your backside on the wall, you're then using more ground pressure because you're pulling the arms back down in front of your body better. So from that position, the rotation is so much easier because you've used ground pressure, you've got the pressure in your feet to then spiral upwards. And that's where you may have heard the terminology, like the terminology over the years of like the squatting into the downswing and then being able to like really spin up through the ball, rotate up through the ball as you've got ground pressure, posture, and then you're able to turn because of this and then you're able to work upwards and you're, you're able to really spiral up through the golf ball. And that's where you get a lot of the power. So actually something I work on myself, you're just trying to remember this point here. And actually a good friend of mine just comes to my, just comes to my mind then, Peter Finch, when you watch him doing his practice swing drills, you will often see him just really drop down like that. Cause that's just the sensation he's trying to get there where you're trying to kind of maintain posture during the downswing. We all do, we all get, I personally get the club a little bit too much stuck on the inside and I have to flip the hands. When I am able to then hold into my posture for longer, I'm able to use my bigger muscles. I'm able to use my chest and my hips to then get the, the rotation through the shot. I'm able to be a lot, more, a lot more powerful with my lower body. I'm able to rotate better with my upper body 
Therefore, I don't have to use my hands as much to manipulate the club head. So whether you slice it or hook it, this is a great drill for you because what it's really helping you do is use more ground pressure. You're not having to try and increase flexibility too much. You're just trying to feel power there and then rotate through. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to get to the top. I'm going to feel that. I'm just going to feel like I'm almost exaggerating my posture on the way down. That's the really good feel for this when you've got a golf club. It's almost like you're trying to sit down, lower your arms, and then turn up and finish up nice and high. So be careful not to try and kind of finish up like this and try and keep your backside on the wall. You're going to finish up nice and high on the way through. So as you get to the top, sit, turn up again. That's a lovely little strike. And even there at kind of a slow speed, oh, literally thought that was going in the hole. <laughs> that was very close. I'm very happy with that. That's not just because of what I did. It's because I kept the club face straight as well. So I was able to continually rotate through the golf ball. I didn't even hit it at full power. I slowed down the whole golf swing just to be able to feel that little bit of a transition and then the turn through the ball. Therefore, I'm able to control the club face better. After that, and the feeling I just had, I'm literally going to practice that way more than I was probably anticipating I was going to practice it because that was such a good feeling, just getting that boom and turning upwards. Such a good feeling to be able to hold the posture. Get the club stuck in behind, get the hips in with the early extension, hands are going to flip and rescue, and that is not a good place to be trust me on that one. If you've enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button. As ever, please hit that subscribe button as well. It does make a massive difference to the channel. And thank you so much already for the support the channel has been getting over the summer. A lot of you know the reason why I'm back in the UK and why I'm doing YouTube videos five times a week and more regular because I now have the time because I'm not coaching in Dubai. So it's, it's amazing to be back. It's exciting to be back and it's a new chapter. Let's get it. Thanks for watching. See you again.